Right, I'm with Lee Fowler um, after today's defeat to, to Walsall Wood, which sees us knocked off the top of the table for the first time for quite a while. Um, your thoughts on that game, and did you, did you change tactics today at all, or formation? What? No, no, we, just, uh, we, we were the same about our business, 4-4-2, 4-3-3. It's got nothing to do with tactics or formations, or it's down to personnel. Um, I think we got a little bit overawed by the game. Uh, they wanted it more. They had too much possession of the ball. We just kept thrashing at the ball. We didn't have no quality. Um, and as I said to them before the game, they're, they're a dangerous team on the attack. They look for set plays, long balls in behind for Javier. And I thought Dodd would play, he didn't play. And they just controlled the game, they outmanned us. Um, I didn't see it coming, it's disappointing. Um, Apologise to the fans for that type of performance in a big game, the lads should thrive on it. We've built up this mentality this week of everything against, you know, what it means to your family and all stuff like that. And listen, the, how they trained this week and how they played were two different polar opposites. So I, I don't know what, why it is, I don't know if there was the heat, is, but they were just poor. Yeah, I think it, it's a game, I mean, I haven't seen the stats today, but I, we didn't have many shots at all, never mind on target today, did we? No, I think it was a bit powder puff up front. Uh, the ball wasn't sticking, uh, mistakes happening, silly fouls from Alex when he's come back through for the first or second goal. Um, I just had to change things, try and get something. I felt it in the warm up, if it can transfer it into the game. You know, I tried to make a sub early, I'm mindful to making too many subs because if someone gets injured, like Billy did, to be fair, Billy should have come off. I think he was a little bit concussed. So, listen, it's difficult, you're trying to find a way in. You know, second half, we huffed and puffed without having really any chances. I think the penalty goes in, I think it changes the complex of the game. Um, but it never, we've lost the game, we've worked that hard for all season to be top. And right at the end, you know, it's back in Warsaw's favour now, especially with the goal swing. So, you know, we need to regroup, accept that we've lost, go back into the game Saturday, go over it tonight. And Monday morning, we need to get up with a bright, positive mentality, going to win a game against Dunkirk. We all want to probably beat us, there's no two ways about it, a local, probably a localish game. So we have to go and score quite heavily. So there will be risks on Saturday because we need to. We need to win the game first and foremost, and then we're hoping for other people to do us a favour now. Yeah, you you made the change early on, taking Tom Marshall off and replacing him with Rico Fife. What were you? What was the thinking behind that today? I just felt that Tom looked a little bit sort of tired. Um, he was getting turned quite easily. Um, he had a knock in the week. I don't know if I took advantage. And I always knew I'd want to bring in a man in the midfield, and Dicko was going to come on as well. Um, I thought I could hurt him either side of their midfield, which when Dicko and Rico come on, we did. We penetrated him either side, and that was my reasons for Tom. And you know, he's he's been fantastic for me. You know, I know he's not going to be happy by being brought off, but I had to make a decision to bring a player on. So I'd read Lavelle already on there with his energy, he looked a little bit more bright, and I kept him in there. So listen, deal go again, Tom. He's a good player. He involved Saturday, um, uh, sorry Monday against Dunkirk, and we just go again. That's it. No, it's, it's a very quick turnaround, like you say, two days between now and the game against Dunkirk. The, the last two games now are massive for us, aren't they? What, what have you said to the players um, in the changing room after today's game to, to get them up and, and for, the, for the Dunkirk game on Monday? Listen, this, this is what I'm saying. You know, the fans deserve me to come in and explain myself after the game, but sometimes you want to keep a little bit less because the game's Monday. But I said to the lads, listen, we've talked about it. If there wasn't a game Monday, I probably would have gone a little bit more sort of aggressive in terms of frustrated I was. But there's a game Monday, so they have to regroup. Um, I wanted to prepare properly. I don't want them to be out tomorrow or Sunday. And now Monday's game is massive. So when they turn up to Monday, this game's completely gone. Um, and you know, this is a test for the players now that can they bounce back quickly? You know, they've always had week to week sort of games. They have to forget about this game, it's gone. Remember it, all the bad stuff. And then take everything what you've been doing the whole season to make you the top of the league. They have to bring that to the table against Dunkirk. All right, cheers. Thanks for taking the time to speak to us tonight, Catherine. Cheers. Thank you.